What's going on, family? How you guys doing? That's right. That's right. One shot, baby. One shot. All we got is one life and one shot with this one life that we got. Let me remind you, we're not going to make it out of here alive. Oh, no. So why not choose to live? I don't know if you guys have been or had a near-death experience once, twice, or a thousand times or many times. If you had then you know that you were granted an opportunity to live another day and walk away from that situation. And then you know that one day you will be back in that situation and uh, it'll be it, lights out. No more coming out of that, it'll be done, right? Because um, when it's your time and it's my time to go, there's no stopping it, right? So then what's important is what we do in between that time. And if you've never been in a near-death uh experience then good for you uh then we'll look at it like this from the day that you were born to the day that we get to expire and leave this uh leave this leave this earth leave this life leave this this meat suit what's very important is what you do in between that time and uh what i'm going to talk to you about today is uh it's going to be uh in regards to that point So once again, welcome to Polo Go Vision, and I'm on a mission to bring hope to as many people in the families that I can. I'm Polo Go, praise one, love one, God only. And like always, if I'm not good, and if I'm not good with the Most High, with the Creator, then I'm no good for myself, and I'm not good for nobody. And that's what really matters. Today's topic is running. And uh, let me ask you a question. Are you allowing life to run you? Or are you running your own life? Your own marathon? It's a good question, right? Um, There was a long period of time where I was letting life run me. I allowed it. I, uh, you could say I gave up. I allowed it. And then finally, I made my decision to run my own life and that decision came with a commitment that no matter what happens I'm not going to allow nothing or no one to get me out of focus especially the way I think and that nothing or no one that is has always been me I can't blame nobody else but me and what I focus on and what my thoughts are in my my head and the words that come out of my mouth it's me it's always been me it's always been you have you ever been in a situation where for those of my brothers and sisters kings and queens out there that uh you made your decision and you've been committed to you know what make this year the best year ever have you noticed that things aren't going as smooth as you thought have you noticed that as you're getting better Uh, through the days, through the years, through the months that you're losing friends? People that you thought, you know, they were your friends? Or have you noticed that your family is like treating you weird? (laughs) Like they were used to how you used to be? A person that didn't care and uh, did everything for everybody else or wanted to please everybody else? Hello, how are you? Hope you have a beautiful day. God bless you. Thank you. Have you noticed that um, as you're changing and you're being committed that things just don't feel the same anymore? You just don't feel the same? Like what used to make you happy don't make you happy anymore? And have you noticed that it's hard? Give me one second. I'm going to put on my mask. Okay, thank you. I'm back, you guys. Now, when we make a decision and and we're committed to that decision, please expect that it's not going to be easy, hunky-dory. Please don't look at my videos and be like, well, he has it so easy. No, ladies and gentlemen, I do not. Brothers and sisters, I do not. But I used to, I, I choose to put my words that come out of my mouth and my thoughts in my head in alignment to be positive. And uh, to remember that no matter what, that I'm alive. I'm alive. 
because now I'm choosing to live with awareness and I'm alive and when I say I'm alive you you might be like well of course duh you're 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 recording yourself duh yes but it's a different type of a, alive I'm free see before I went through some stuff and for so many years minimum 10 15 20 years I thought I failed and I forgot how victorious I was so my family people all around me they were used to me being a certain way and they can count on that they can count that uh, what I was going to do was expected and they knew where I was going to be what I was going to be doing and they, they were happy with that um, and then I was always miserable right even though I was alive but really spiritually I was dead so now I'm alive after I walked away from a near death car accident where I should have been I should be dead but by the grace and mercy of God I'm here sharing with you all how great God is and giving a living testimony of how great God is so now that I decided to uh, be committed to this new lifestyle new way of thinking new way of talking acting reacting and living then even the people close to me family the ones that, that love me the most they make it harder for me. They uh, they don't understand me. They rather they rather have me the old way because they knew that I was limited and I was limiting myself. But now I am fearless and limitless, and they don't like it. So, have you ever noticed anything like that? I hope one of you guys have. I do. So I have to be honest. You might check out my videos. Okay, you might see all the, the, the message of hope that I want to bring out because that's all I want to do is bring hope and touch one person by helping other people everywhere. But this is hard, you guys. It is. But you know what? It's easier than how I used to live in despair and in, 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 in a me, me, me and misery and a bad attitude before. Now I'm going to shine and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to smile because I remember now that I'm awake and I'm alive and I am free and I rose from the ashes and now I've been given another chance once again we get two lifetimes in one lifetime and I started living my second lifetime when I realized I wasn't living my first life at the maximum potential and capacity that I could so now it's on and cracking now when, there, when, there, when anything does happen and someone says something that's just like like, why, why do they say that to me? I'm, I'm pouring out nothing but love. And they say some weird stuff. And I, I'm like, whoa, in my mind, I stop time. I stop time. I literally stop time. And I take a pause and I take a deep breath. And I say, whoa. And I don't contribute to that no more. Because if I contribute to that, I'm going to say some stuff that's going to knock their socks off of them. And they're not going to like me. <laughs> they're not going to like me. So what, 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 what would I rather do? Defend myself every time because I, I know what it is to, to realize how blessed I am to be alive. And other people don't. Do I have to defend myself every time? No, man. That's a waste of energy. So when, things say, when people say things, even the closest to me say things that are just, oh man, out of this world is just trying to drag me down and put me down. I'm not gonna waste my time, but instead I'm gonna remember that I am alive. And I was given another chance to live, love, laugh, have fun and enjoy this beautiful day. Cause we're not promised today. A lot of my brothers and sisters died last night, today, and someone died right now as I'm talking to you. So I'd rather focus on the beautiful fact that I've been blessed to live and enjoy this day. And it's, it's, hard, it's hard sometimes because I'm giving it all I got. I'd rather be transparent. And it's hard because the old me wants to lash out and be like, hey, wh 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 why are you saying that? What's the deal? What's wrong with you? But then the new me says, don't do it. Stop. Take a deep breath and relax because it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Realizing that I'm alive and I've been given another chance to live is way more worth it than trying to explain myself to people that are plugged into the illusion and they're still programmed with the old programming of their mind. See, I'm working hard to reprogram myself and every day I'm plugged from the illusion because I'm realized what's really important. Oh yes, 
that is true to this right that is true to myself right be true to myself be honest make a difference in this world no matter what starting with myself and the way how I think and how I love myself how I treat myself how I forgive myself and then no matter what I made my decision and I'm committed because this is a marathon and I'm here for the long term baby and that's how I'm running my life Nothing sleazy and easy and greasy, that's short term, but long term marathon running my life. And I'm not gonna allow life to run me. Because as the days go by, my, I'm building my character, integrity, honesty, repetition, self-discipline, courage, being fearless, and embracing whatever comes my way. And I'm not gonna hide behind alcohol and or drugs but I rather, I rather or, or getting angry or being irate and just exploding and, and being and just reacting, but instead living an irreverent life and being slow to anger, slow to react, and be quick to think and quick to listen, which is way better, you guys. Because at the end of the day, it's my health. If no one else cares about their health, if no, if they just want to do rumors and talk about and gossip and do all kinds of stuff, let them. I don't care, man. I rather come out. Do what I gotta do, shine, and surround myself with light makers and share that light and create a big, be part of the movement of the shift and the movement of this world. And that's way better than focusing on some little insignificant and irrelevant situation that will arise and become distracted, but instead remain focused, find my purpose, live with passion, compassion, understanding, and patience with others. Because as long as I do that, then I will be rewarded because then I'll be able to make it to the end of this day and go to sleep peacefully and sleep so good, have my dreams, wake up and do it all again and knock it out the park, you champs. Knock it out the park, champs. That's right. So let me ask you, are you letting life run you or are you running your life? And what helps is taking personal responsibility for everything, not blaming others, no. It took me so long to, to get to this point. What, what, am I gonna expect others to be where I'm at? No, if they wanna stay plugged in under the illusion and the lie, and the lie, then let it be. I don't want that. I'm unplugged from the illusion. And I'm going to enjoy my freedom because I am free. Thank God Almighty. I'm blessed and unstoppable to God be the glory. I'm a king. I'm a champ. I'm royalty. Praise one. Love one. God only. With that being said, you guys, I love you guys. Blessings. Let's get it done, champs. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, champs. Let's go, champs. Let's go.